salutations. My name is Ms. Beasley, and I will be your host for this evening's show here at The Strange Side. I am also the town's librarian and caretaker. Have you ever met someone and had the feeling that something wasn't quite right? And for the life of you, yes, for the life of you, you couldn't quite put your finger on it. This evening's story is called The Out of Towners. I will be back at the end of the show with a few words, so please don't run away. <laughs> Camping, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It'll be good for your nerves, for calming them. Well, I've been lost out here in these woods for two days, not feeling calm. And now the question is, which way on, which way on the road do I go to get to people? Well, it feels like I should go this way. So most assuredly, I should instead go that way because my internal compass is like ridiculously broken. Here we go. Wonderful. I hear banjo music. Just what I need. I so wish I hadn't have watched Deliverance now. There, Delbert. It looks like breakfast walking right up to us. On the hoof. Come on up here, little gal. Hi, fellas. I heard your music and, well, 
I just wondered if I could please use your phone. Well, I set up camp like somewhere out here and anyway, then I went for a hike and then, well, I've been wandering around for like two days and I'm thoroughly lost. Oh, well, bless your heart. You're lost, are you? Totally lost. But listen, I, I could pay you for the use of your phone. Oh, darling, there ain't no need. No, no need for that. No, no, that's what it's for, to help folks out with. So hang on just a second. Hey, Clint, could you come out here a minute? What do you want, Delbert? You know I'm busy cooking. Oh, Clint, calm yourself down. This little lady's lost. Yeah. Could you show her the phone? So you're lost, are you? Uh, that's right, and Clint ain't nobody know where she is. Oh, bless her heart. Yeah, including me. <laughs> well, that's no problem. Come in and use the phone, take your time. Well, listen, can, can you guys tell me, like, where is this place? It's called Liftoff Mountain. We've been hunting here for years. I appreciate it. Delbert, we're going to have us some vittles. <laughs> I love me some vittles. A one, mm -hmm. two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Howdy, ma'am. Y'all having some car troubles, are you? Oh, yes, sir. I'm totally lost, and I'm late for an appointment. Um, do you have a cell phone that can get some service out here? No, but we got a house phone you can use. We can take my car up there. Oh, thank you, sir. How lucky finding you here. But let me get my guitar. I don't want to get it stolen. Did I hear you say we? Do you and your family live up here? Oh, no, ma'am. Just me and a couple of hunting buddies. I had to go to town and get some more seasoning. We're having a good hunt. Oh, so you're not from here. No, ma'am. We out of towners. Okay, boys, what are we gonna play? Hey, Roy, why don't you play that uh, Darling Katie? Oh, I'm going inside. Darling Katie always makes me cry. Oh, I love Darling Katie. He's kind of sensitive that way, though. Darling Katie, how I love you. How I miss you, long boy. How I miss the sweet, sweet kiss with How I miss the face of the Oh, Katie, why'd you leave me? Why'd you tear my world apart? Don't you know how much I love you? Darling Katie, the road stop. Walk on that door. Tear my world apart Cause you know How much I loved you Darling Katie Broke my heart Boy, that was so much fun As much fun as that was, boys I better get in and make my phone call And get my car back on the oh, road Oh, you go on in there, little lady Uh Oh, uh, Clinton in there, he'll just uh, fix you right up. All right. Miss that one. I'll fix her right up. He will. You know, oh, man, wouldn't it be good 
if he fixed her up with breakfast, eggs, biscuits and gravy. Oh, yeah, and, and fix her with a side of meat. Boy, that can't be beat. Speaking of beef, she laid out in there now and ready for cooking. Wee. With the three we got yesterday and two more today, we're ready to go home. I'll get the seasoning out of the car and we can pack up and go home, boys. All right. All right. <laughs> Woo -wee. Oh, Daisy May's gonna love what we bring home to her this time. Don't you know it, man? Hey, we've had a good hunt, boy. We have. All right, let's play one for the road. Let's do it. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, Delbert, I'm ready for some vittles, too. Mm-hmm. Boys, she's a young one. She's going to cook up real good on the barbecue. Mm. Mm. I loves me some vittles. I'll go load up the meat and warm up the ship. Whew. Boys, this has been a good hunt. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Well, I certainly did not see that coming. Many, many people are lost in the woods. And bears and Bigfoot and other wild animals are usually to blame. If I had known I'd have so many viewers this evening, I would have baked some of my famous rattlesnake cookies. A recipe that's been in my family for many, many years. They are absolutely to die for. <laughs> Until next week's show, I'm your host, Miss Beasley. 
and remember, if you happen to hear banjo music playing, well, perhaps it's a bit too late. Have a pleasant good evening.